So I'll tell you what I think is, I think why they're coming out now and saying this, I think why the Irish government are coming out now and saying that uh, they recognise the state of Palestine is because they're trying to keep that the attention focused on there now, you see. I mean, these, these could have came out months ago and said that they recognise Palestine, but they didn't. Because what they do is they drag them out. They drag everything out as long as they can, right? To keep people's focus away from Ireland. And then if you notice lately, like especially the last, oof, like over the last year or two, maybe, I, I have been personally, I've been fucking shouting from the rooftops about this, what's happening. But especially the last two, two, three weeks, you notice on all the sites, the way the Irish lads are starting to stand up for themselves. The Irish people are standing up for themselves now and they're blocking all the sites. Okay. And that was, that's everywhere on Twitter. You want to check it out. Like the videos are instantly being shared. So the government, Irish government have to come out now and, and say that they recognize Palestine because they know that it will trigger all the lefties and everything to focus back on Palestine again. Don't be looking at the videos coming out of Ireland. Everything's fine in Ireland. So we're going to focus on Palestine. I'll play this so you can hear Good morning all. Delighted to be joined here by the Fonista and Minister Ryan. Last month I stood on these same steps with Prime Minister Sanchez of Spain. And we said that the point of recognizing the state of Palestine was coming closer. That point has now arrived. Today, Ireland, Norway and Spain are announcing that we recognize the state of Palestine. Good morning all. So, there you go. And flags are very significant. Flags are very significant, okay? Look what's beside the Irish flag. Look what's beside the tricolor. United Nations flag. So it's really the United Nations speaking. The United Nations have said, right, to the Irish government, they've turned around and they've said, right, the Irish people are waking up too quick. Go out there and make an announcement that we recognise Palestine now. Quick, the time is now. Quick, go, go, go. That's exactly what's happening here. Now, I don't know if people know about Ken O'Keefe, but he said something a bit prophetic here. Listen to this. There are laws, and I have been supporting and defending the law not only and i know he's uh, he's based in england this chap but he's gonna tell you a little bit about british law united states law but also british law and also international law and specifically human rights law and treaty law the united kingdom by the way is party to the terrorism act and treaties governing terrorism also they're part of the Geneva, or excuse me, the Treaty Against Genocide. Yes, this country right here that you pay your taxes to, that those taxes are being used to enable the Jewish state of Israel to carry on with its genocide in Gaza, are in violation of their own laws, and there is tax resistance, Probity Co. Look it up, Probity Co. in the UK. That is a lawful tax resistance in which your money and your taxes, including council tax, is taken and put into a trust, a trust with terms of the trust that qualify that the UK government, after having been served, notice that these taxes are being withheld until they can support and provide assurance and evidence that they will not continue to commit the crimes they're already guilty of committing. You know, it just, it just basically sums up all Western governments. The, f the funding a fund in one side. So, for instance, uh, uh, Great Britain, British, British law, like he said, they're funding Israel to bomb the Palestinians, and then they're allowing the Palestinians to march all around England, all around Great Britain, should I say, in solidarity. So, it's a bit contradictory. Can you see how the governments uh, manipulate things? You can see it now, can't you? I'm sure it's, a lot of you have seen how governments manipulate the masses, but that's just a, that's just one in your face, like pan, uh, point blank in your face.
they fund Israel to bomb the Palestinians and then they let all the, they invite all these people from the Muslim world into that country and let the Palestinians just run amok or let the Muslims just run amok in the name of Palestine. But yet, it's the same government funding Israel. Like, it's just so obvious now, isn't it? Like, they can't... You, how do you sugarcoat that? That was Hazel Chu that shared that. She goes, a well, uh, a long overdue and much needed step. Ireland will not stand by silently witnessing the genocide of Palestine. Yeah, but you will stand by... Uh, you will stand by silently whistling... Uh, uh, kind of talk. You will stand by silently witnessing Irish children being stabbed as they walk home from school in broad daylight. Ashley Murphy being stabbed 11 times in her neck, which the Garda and media covered up for months and said that she was strangled when she was stabbed 11 times. See the likes of this Hazel Chew? You need to be locked up and the key thrown away. Lock all these, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Lock them three animals up as well. They're playing both sides. And then they use us as little pawns. They think we're just pawns to them. The significance of the flags as well. Remember that. 